Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Vital, so let's go to a new preset, and I kind of want to show you a really cool way to make a pluck with some comb filtering here. So right now we're on an init preset. Let's go ahead and disable this oscillator for now. We're going to come back to it a little bit later, and let's enable the sampler here, and let's go over to the pink noise right over here. So we have some pink noise, and let's turn on our filter, and let's change this to the comb filter, this first one right over here. And the first thing we need to do is bring this up all the way, and also bring up the cut all the way as well. So we have something kind of like this, but we do need to route this oscillator here, or the sample oscillator, into this comb filter. So let's select the SMP right here. So we have something like that, and now we need to key track this all the way to 100%. So we have something kind of like that. So what we can do now is let's go to the second envelope and let's turn this volume, this level, all the way down and give it kind of a nice little plucky sound here. So let's bring our envelope two all over to the level here. And let's bring our sustain all the way down and kind of just dial in our decay. And it's going to do the same thing with the amp envelope as well. Let's turn down our sustain. Now this is gonna be something that you kind of want to dial in a little bit later once you kind of really have the sound going, you can kind of just tweak things to your liking. So right here, let's give us some extra volume here. Let's go back to zero. Okay, so this is cool for now. And what we can do is go to the effects here and let's turn on a multi-band to see how that sounds. So we have that kind of string sound. Let's get an EQ in here as well and kind of just tailor this to our tastes here. And this part right here, so we can, we can always add a little bit of that low end if we kind of want that kind of low end sound. Because this wouldn't necessarily bother me or we can kind of take this out as well. But it will thin it out pretty quick, so let's just give it a tiny little bump, something kind of like that. Let's add a little bit of delay here, and let's make this delay a stereo delay. And for the left-hand side, let's go to the dotted. I was kind of like doing this dotted eighth note on the left side, and then a quarter note on the right side over here. So click and drag to the quarter note. Now that is quite a lot of delays and a little bit too much feedback, so first of all, let's kind of EQ this a little bit. Reduce our feedback. And reduce the mix as well. Maybe EQ this a little bit more. Because it should just be kind of like background sound a little bit. Reduce this mix a little bit more. So it's kind of there in the background. Now after all this, I kind of like also adding a chorus. But not nearly as much. Let's bring our mix down a little bit as well. Now this is one of those subtle things where it kind of just really ties it in. So without the chorus... And with, of course. Okay, cool. So another thing that we need to do, and this is really going to tie the authenticity of this kind of sound in here. So we do want to modulate the pitch here just a little bit once the attack kind of comes in. But we don't really have a tuning kind of thing here. We can do it here, but it's not really going to have the same effect. What we need to do, especially for using comb filtering, is to modulate the cutoff position right over here. So what we can do is let's grab another envelope, and this one's just going to be dedicated for this pitch. So let's grab this here, and let's put this on the cutoff. Now that is way too much modulation there. So let's kind of drag this down something like this. So that's kind of working how we want to. Now we just really have to dial in the right envelope here. So let's bring our sustain all the way down because we don't want this pitch to be sustained. And also drastically reduce the decay because this is going to be something really short, almost kind of very subtle, but noticeable at the same time, if that makes any sense. Maybe even a little bit shorter here. Okay, so that's the kind of envelope that we want here. Now this is a little bit too much modulation, so let's bring this down a little bit more. So close, maybe a little bit less of this envelope modulation. Maybe a little bit less. It's a very subtle kind of move here. Okay, it's, we need a little bit more back here. So we're at 1.2, maybe 2.2, 2.7.
Okay, so we're getting somewhere right here. Now let's go back to our effects here and add a little bit of reverb to kind of give it a little bit of space here as well. Increase our mix here. And also the delay maybe a little bit as well, maybe 0 0.021, I guess that should work. Let's go to the high and kind of bring the cutoff down a little bit here and reduce the gain just a little bit. Okay, so now this is kind of going to be the spot where we do want to dial in the main envelope here. So when we hit a note, it's kind of a long decay here. So this is where we kind of want to maybe bring this back a little bit. And maybe change the curve so it's a little bit more concave. So now we have something kind of like this to work with. And what would be nice if we're using this patch in kind of an everyday kind of thing for whatever reason, we can grab with this first macro and kind of bring this on the decay here and maybe not give it so much, maybe we reduce this a little bit. So we can turn this. So it's kind of the same thing. And what's nice, so we are all the way over here on the left. If we, if we look at our decay here, we have a value of 0.331. With our release, what we can do is enter the value and go 0.331. So we have the same amount of release, and then we can grab the same macro and then drag it over here as well. And we're at a value of 0.323 for this macro. So let's go ahead and enter the value at 0.323. So now the decay and the release have the same amount, and they're also modulated with this first macro by the same amount as well. Because sometimes it's nice where we don't have to just hold down the key for the decay. We can just hit a note real quick, and then the release will take care of that as well. Something kind of like that. Okay, so now how I said in the beginning, we're going to come back to this first oscillator. So what can, what can be kind of cool, if we turn this on here and go to the init, maybe the factory, and then select this pink noise here, we can always select this and run this through this first filter as well. Kind of reduce the level. We can do that with a pink noise, or we can always do this here as well, basic shapes here, and we can go up to a saw wave, which has a lot of harmonics, something like this. So if we take off the sampler here, we're kind of getting the sound. So what we can try as well is hold down shift and click here and drag up. So we go up one octave and we can mix this in with the pink noise. So something like that. I kind of want to drag this decay down just a little bit more. So we're at 0.331. So let's maybe go to 0.25, something like that. And same for the release. So enter value 0.25. So let's name this maybe something like, I uh, will come back to the renaming here for now. I guess we can do it, whatever. DK, something like that. And then what's also cool too, let's turn on the second filter here, take oscillator two out and put filter one in. I'm going to put something like this here, give us some nice resonance. And maybe we can use something like the envelope 2 for this, because that looks like an appropriate shape. And this way we get a little bit more of that pluck vibe here. Yeah, so that's kind of that vibe right over there. So you get that, it's kind of a fun way to make some interesting kind of plex sounds. And you can always increase the sustain on the main envelope if you kind of want something to sustain for whatever reason. So if we like that kind of sound, let's bring our sustain all the way down. Let's get the second macro and go to the sustain. Maybe give it about halfway, something like that, 0.499. It's actually pretty close. And let's put sustain for this second macro. 
So if we kind of just want to change it on the fly, we can do that. So yeah, that's this uh, cool little way to make some kind of little uh, pluck there with the uh, comb filtering. Comb filtering is a lot of fun. You can do a lot of crazy sounds with it. So uh, if you want to get this patch, let's call it the... Oh, pentapluck, because this patch is really made to be played with any kind of pentatonic scale. So let's call this the pentapluck. That's kind of a cool name, I suppose. So if you want to get the pentapluck, there is a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. Hopefully you learned something through this video, and we will see you in the next one.